Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Chanel 23S Spring Summer Act 2 First Day Ranch. As always, I bring you to the boutique. Let's check out what they have it. So the first pack was the trendy CC. This season they come the trendy CC. When I saw this bag, I noticed this a little bit of details on the metal bar. As you can see, the Chanel embossed with the metal and leather together. I kind of like the design. Next bag I want to talk about is this one. This is called Golden Links. This is a seasonal bag for this season and they come couple colors and today I saw the pink, light blue, and the black. I do like everything about this bag. However, the chain is a little bit too long and the other thing is the chain is very heavy. So I can imagine if you load everything into this bag, it will be a little bit heavy so you better to try in person see if you like this one and also this kind of pricey i believe it was 5900 i do like the leather this one the leather actually is a shiny lambskin so the leather is very very beautiful This is the mini flap also come from this season. It is the seasonal bag. This one, it is 6,200. This is a new seasonal bag called Fancy Jewel and this one come two sizes, mini size and the medium size. Now honestly, I do love the design, especially the chain on the front of the bag. It is so, so pretty. The leather was made by a shiny lambskin leather. So the leather is very, very beautiful. So the one I'm trying is the mini size or small size. So that one is a 5,600. And I also tried the large one, which in the next one you will see. So here is the large one. So the large one is pretty large. And this one is 5,900. Next bag I'm trying is double U. This style comes three sizes, but today I only see the mini size in the boutique. The mini size I believe was 5,400. This one made by aged calf skin leather. Uh, the only problem this one is the chain is very long. Next bag I want to talk about is this one. This core graphic catch made by aged calf skin leather. I love this design. It looks so nice when you wear it. I'm very glad I tried this bag. 
in the boutique, so I can talk to you guys. You have to try this bag in person. Now, when I was trying, I tried to close and open. I have no problem to open this bag. Here is the problem. Biggest problem is I could not close this bag. I was struggling a lot. The way they close, you have to match the hole there. You see it? It it is like a button close. So I just can't find the hole. So it was crazy. I was try so hard. And end up, I have to give up. I just leave it open. So you guys have to try this bag in the boutique if you want to buy it. And maybe it's my problem. I don't know, but that's the biggest problem for me. This bag. The other thing is, if you want to handhold, you can see my hand. So it's very difficult for you to handhold because it's too wide. So your hand is literally open. It's not close your hand to hold this bag. Next one is the wallet on the chain. This is a new design for this season. I do love it, and especially the chain. I would recommend it if you are looking for the wallet on the chain. This is the one you should consider. I know it is expensive, but、uh, I do love it. Next bag, a seasonal bag called Coco Love. They come two sizes. So the one I'm trying is a mini size. They have a next size which is bigger. I won't recommend this one. First of all, the leather is very soft. I don't know if it can hold the structure. Second,、um, the turn lock doesn't look very classic to me, and it does look very cheap. Next bag is this one. It's gonna be very popular called Sweet Chameleon. It is seasonal bag and it comes with a couple sizes. So today they only come two sizes. The one I'm trying, I think, in the middle, and the other one, the burgundy one and the black one, I think, is the largest one. This one made by Lambskin, but how I feel about that? This lambskin hold the structure very very well. The reason is the interior is the leather, so I would recommend it if you are looking for something like a, a classic flap. I think definitely this is the alternative one you can consider. The price is so much better than the classic one. I know it is a lambskin, however, because its interior is a leather, so it holds structure very well. Now compare with the twenty three P, there's a sweetheart. Even though they are caviar leather, but the interior is a fabric, so that's why that. One it doesn't hold structure so well like this one. So this one is kind of surprised me. You know when I touch it, I say, "Wow, this one is really nice." You know, if someone looking for the classic flap, this is the one you can consider instead of paying so much money for the classic flap. So this time I also see a couple of colors: the pink, light yellow, black, and the burgundy. I. Definitely recommend it for this piece. Pink and the light yellow one I'm trying are five thousand six hundred dollars, and the burgundy one is five thousand nine hundred dollars, as well as the black one because they are large one. Another popular bag from this season is the twenty two. Bag in the mini size. Well, I'm not a fan of this bag. I could not say much about it. I just don't feel worth to buy it. But you guys, if you like it, definitely go try it. See if you like this bag, this size.
Here come the backpack called Urban Spirit backpack. It is a new seasonal backpack, and they come two sizes. One is a large size, one is a small size, made by Caviar Leather. I think the small size is a good size to go. The big one is、uh, kind of big. You can see. And when I tried it, when I look at the video, I don't really see the much difference. But when you put them together side by side, you will see the difference. The large size is six thousand four hundred, and the small size is six thousand dollars. Still very very expensive. Do I recommend it? I probably won't recommend it because for the price tag, I think for a casual bag, you shouldn't spend so much money on the casual bag. But just my personal opinion, you still buy what you love. I did this video very rush, and I'm sure I missed some clips. So if I find out I missed something, I will post in my Instagram page. You also can follow me in the Instagram. So that's for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye bye.